Well, and, and can you talk a little bit more about like your relationship to audience? Because it, it's very striking that you do perform live so much. And so what uh, what is that relationship? And like, how do you engage with your audience? And I'm sure it depends on the performance. But. Yeah, it depends on the performance. But what is true for, yeah, for all of them is that I um, am committed to an exchange and for to to emphasize the experiential so um just as in this workshop today was about like what what does this room need how do we um re-examine our relationship to technology to space um and our engagement with that for an audience, I'm always thinking about whatever the medicine has been for me personally, or, you know, whatever I have identified it to be is available to the people in the room. So it is important to think through what do they need to know to experience that? What do they need? What do I need to um, facilitate in the work itself for folks to have everything they need to, to go through that? Right, because it, it's it's going to happen not not later, not after folks leave the room, but in the room while this work is going on, something gets activated. How do you take care of the people enough that they're okay when they leave? Um, so you know, my the the same kind of caretaking and specificity of that that's happening in a process with collaborators and with myself are things that I'm thinking about for audience. So it's not not about like. Um, how do I make things obvious or how, you know, it's not that kind of esoteric relationship, but it is about um, structuring the work in a way that it can do what it needs so that people have what, what they need um, to get it and to, to, to be in a space of receivership if they so allow, right? Mm -hmm. 